Hello, beautiful internet family. Dan A from DanceTube.tv. And with the release of the new DJI Air 2S, there was a brand new feature that was added to the drone that has really taken the spotlight. It's called Master Shots, and it's actually really surprised me what it can do. So if you are new around these parts, my name is Dan and I run dancetube.tv. My mission is to help technology enthusiasts unlock their creative potential with tech. And today we're checking out the master shots mode. Before I jump into it, I wanna give a massive shout out to the D1 store, or also known as the DJI store.com.au. Check out their website, they're phenomenal. They've really helped me. They can definitely help you out with different offers and deals and they're phenomenal. You know, they have a whole whole catalog of drones and accessories and items, and they're an authorized retail store in Australia. I will actually have a link in the description below to check them out, as well as a coupon code that you can use. You can't actually use it on the Air 2S just yet, but you can use it on a lot of their other stock. It's just MMAFB. That's the coupon code. It stands for Mavic Mini Australia Facebook. So I run a Mavic Mini Australia Facebook page. There will be a link below to check that out as well. Join it if you would like but that's the code, M-M-A-F-B. So jumping back into the video, the Master Shots mode was announced and unveiled for the DJI Air 2S. And I thought, well, this is gonna be a bit of a gimmick, or this is gonna be just a new feature that's you know, going to kind of add a little bit of value to it to make it stand out over the previous drones that they've released. But it's actually remarkable. It's really powerful, extremely useful. And as one of my friends said the other day, you could literally just draw around an object and then get all the shots you need and you're done. Literally a few minutes, up to four minutes. You know, you can get multiple shots of a property or a boat or whatever it is that you're trying to focus on. You can get different shots and it creates a dynamic viewing angle for you as the editor. Really fun and also a lot of the movements that you're getting from the master shots are actually probably really hard on your own. Like there's shots where it's actually panning and zooming at the same time and keeping that focus in on that main point. It's ridiculous what they've been able to do here. Basically, you tap the mode option on the right when you're on the flight screen, and then you go to master shots. And based on the subject and distance, the aircraft will automatically shoot a number of shots. And really, it does such a great job. It also works with the subject scanning, which you can see when there's the plus on my friend Ben and I when we're sitting on the bench there. So it makes it even easier. You can literally just find something, press the plus, and then just let it do its thing once you've pressed start. It's that easy. So I fly over to this house here and I get some really unique shots and it does it within two minutes and it gives me a solid video that I can use variation within the footage. You know, there's all these different movements. You've got the estimated flight time of two minutes, but you can then also tap on that and adjust that slightly as well. And then once you press start, it adjusts the aircraft position and you basically just keep an eye on the aircraft, keep an eye on the controller, and you don't have to touch anything else. You just let it do its thing. Obviously keep an eye out if there's anything in the area, just so you can take back control and obviously land or move it out of the way. But basically it just does it all for you. It starts off with the droney shot, which is a really handy shot to have. You know, it's something straight off that you can use and it just kind of reveals the scene. It's really nice. And then it moves on to the circle far. So now that the drone's obviously flown far away from the subject, you can now get a really clean circle. So again, it's like DJI really thinking about all of these modes and how they can be useful for a pilot. You notice there that a tiny bit of the propeller comes into the shot. That seems to be a bit of an issue at the moment. They're obviously gonna tweak that and fix that and remove that, but that shot there is almost unusable when you actually see the propeller. You then get the pitch up and fly forward, which is a really nice one. And one of my favorite shots is the circle close. So it actually utilizes that digital zoom and it just circles the subject. Super simple and you're still a distance away from the subject but it's zooming for you and circling. So again, really useful to have. And then the drone flies back and it does a medium circle. So you've got some variations in the circle movement. And then it moves on to rocket, which is again, a really nice flight mode to have because it just kind of 
shoots up into the air and looks down at the object or the subject or whatever it is that you're looking at. Then it moves on to camera down plus fly forward. So again, some really dynamic movements and it's all automated. I didn't touch the controller at all. I just watched the drone to make sure it was fine. But you get something cool like the camera down plus fly forward. And now we've got one of the classic drone shots, which is camera down and circle. So it just basically goes into the air at a fixed point and just keeps spinning nice and easy. And then you get the camera straight plus descend. And this just kind of shows off the scenery. It shows off what's behind you. Uh, it's kind of a handy shot to have if it's quite a nice backdrop. Otherwise, it's kind of a irrelevant shot. It doesn't really matter. And then you've got the camera down and descend. And then that's it. The drone returns to its initial point and you'll have a two minute clip that you can play with. Super usable footage and such a variation of movements and angles and shots. And it creates something super usable. It's so easy, like regardless of what level you're at, if you're a beginner pilot, this takes out all of the difficulty of maneuvering a drone. You can literally just focus on something and get everything you need. But also for professionals out there, it really does offer some variation in the shots. All of these shots are normally just automatic things that you have to click onto, and then it will do like droney as an individual option. And then it will do, you know, rocket or circle. They're all individual options. And that's great. And you can do that individually. But to have them all in the one video just makes life so much easier. And why not? You know, why not save yourself some time and get some really high quality video? And then I flew out to the middle of the ocean to this random structure that they're building out there. I utilized the subject scanning, which is that plus icon. I tapped on that and then I pressed start and it was that simple. A few taps and it's getting all of these dynamic shots. It did actually lose the structure for some reason it was focusing in on the water and you know some of the shots like aren't usable here but what they've actually done is they've created a pinpoint and when i say they i mean dji have built it into the software that if it misses you know the structure or it gets confused or lost it will put a pin there and then it will work from that pin so here it actually wasn't that accurate it was completely off but i've utilized the pin in the past or it's kind of automatically done its thing and it's normally really active and uh really active accurate you know it does a great job of not stopping what you're trying to do it doesn't just stop and just hover it actually tries to figure it out and continue the shot based on that pin that it's just placed it's very advanced the fact that they can do that I guess for that second test, you can see that occasionally you might lose the subject. So just keep an eye on it. And if it does, you can always just cancel it and then start the whole procedure again. And then I found a lonely excavator in the middle of nowhere. Well, not really. It was obviously in someone's backyard and they're obviously doing something with that stone wall or stone pier thing, whatever you want to call it, the break, the ocean break. And I was like, yeah, this could be really cool. You know, it's something that's stationary, but it looks very unique. And let's see how it kind of goes with this kind of environment. We've tried, obviously, a house. We've tried a random structure in the middle of the water. Let's try an excavator, see if it figures out that this is meant to be a vehicle. Because, you know, sometimes it struggles if it's not something it recognizes and it just won't let it actually work for some reason. I've had that before where it was like, I, I don't know what this is. It's clearly not a vehicle or a person, so I can't really do much with it. <laughs> so the fact that this one worked is fantastic. And I actually went through the different settings here. So if you tap on estimated flight time of two minutes, you can then change what you want the width, the length and the height to be. And then as you change these, it will actually adjust the flight time uh, based on what you're looking for here. So again, you get a little bit of customization here and a little bit of control over how it's gonna flow, but then it just does its thing again and gets those amazing shots that you need. And with Master Shots, like I said before, I thought it could be a bit of a gimmick and I didn't know whether this was actually going to be useful for people, but I think it's ideal for both beginners and professionals. It creates a dynamic movement of all different shots and it gives you the option, the variation to choose between all of these different shots. It does create a basic edit for you right at the end, but I just disregard that. And then when I put it on the computer, it's just one whole video of all the shots with no music in the background, where the edit that it creates in the bottom right corner actually has music tied into it and it's fine, but it's just a bit gimmicky. So you might as well actually have a look at the footage on your computer. Overall, I actually think this is a wonderful new feature. It's a welcome new feature to the DJI range, and I can't wait to see this on future drones. I think they've done something wonderful here. You know, I was wondering when the next kind of quick shot mode was going to come out, when that next feature 
was going to hit the market. And, you know, we've seen Boomerang and we've seen Droney and Rocket and Circle and Helix and all of these really cool modes. But the fact that they've compiled like some of the more cinematic usable uh, modes and they've put it all into the one video for you, so handy. I honestly can't speak higher about this feature. It's phenomenal. So I'd love your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, so far, I've really enjoyed the Air 2S. I've got some more content on the channel if you want to check that out. And I will have some more videos in the future. So keep tuned to the channel. Uh, thank you very much for watching and peace out.